How about this, guys? Virginia Tech coach Justin Fuente said Wednesday that Hokies players who enter the NCAA transfer portal won't be allowed to return to the team. Virginia Tech has had 12 players enter the portal since the end of the 2019 regular season. Listen to the coach here. No, we're not doing that. We, we, we've talked about that. Um, you know, that's we talked about it with as a, as a team. You know, I told, you know, talked about Hendon and Deshaun last year and how that was, that was me not doing a good job educating them. We'll take all of them on a case by case basis, but we're moving forward. So when you say you're, you're not doing that, you mean you're not taking any of them back? Or? Correct. Got it. But Laura, explain yeah. to everyone why this received an enormous amount of attention yesterday. So I think it's important here to first mention Hinden and Deshaun, who was talking about Hinden Hooker and Deshaun McLeese, both players who entered the portal and then decided to come back to Virginia Tech, which Justin Fuente let them come back. Hooker had nearly 2,000 total yards and 18 touchdowns in 2019, <laughs> and McLeese rushed for over 800 yards and seven touchdowns. So these come guys, key back. contributors come there. Back, now, but, here's the big reason yeah. why this is important, too. Justin Fuente was heavily in conversations to take the head coaching job at Baylor and went and listened to them, had many conversations about it, ends up coming back to Virginia Tech. And this Tech. was years ago? This was like a few weeks ago. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. And so he is able to go and have these conversations so and find out whether or not he's going to go so there, you know, maybe negotiate a little bit for himself. And then his players who want to look elsewhere are, are not able to do that, even though he does say it's case by case. I'm so, ahead, I'm so proud. We're becoming more woke by the second. I mean, th this is the double standard that's always gone on in sports. It's always been like, oh, you as a kid, because you're an amateur, you can't do this. Well, I'm not going to allow you to do this, because I have a monopoly. I can be a dictator to some degree. But, oh I, oh, I can do this. If it betters me and my career, I can go take another job and make more money, or if I choose not to want it, come back and everything will be okay. So that's always been the case. The, the hypocrisy is blatant, and it, this quasi-dictatorship is unfortunate, but what really kind of annoys me is there's no looking in the mirror. There's a reason why people are entering the transfer portal. It's something that you're doing. Like, you have to, if we're going to accept that these people have choice and have agency, then you need to provide an environment that they want to be around. If the question isn't, the, the point isn't that they are a bunch of bad guys who don't fit in. If it happens repeatedly, it's because of you. It's because of the program that you're running, not because of them. So the, I think there should be some self I will say in his there. defense a little bit, I mean, when you're managing how many, like, how many football players, a lot, you can't keep everybody happy, but they should, don't have, so, to keep they should have optionality. I, I looked into this a little bit yesterday. Laura, you sent it to our group, and I thought it was a very interesting story, and it's one I confess I didn't know a lot about. And when I watched the interview with the coach, he seemed to be most upset that the fact that he talked to the people at Baylor became as public as it did. That, that seemed to be of, of concern to him. Look, the hypocrisy of it is overwhelming and obvious. But the reality is the system is set up so that he has that choice. Yes. If right. the players enter the transfer portal, he doesn't have to welcome them back. But the reality is now, because the players have that option both on the front end and the back, all players who might consider going to play for him should remember this. Right. The coach believes it is, he is well within his rights to explore the circumstances out there if he thinks that there might be a greener pasture for him and he might leave if he likes it better. He thinks he is well within his rights to do it. But for the most part, he did use the word policy. Now, in this case, he said he'll take them on a case-by-case -case basis. He seems very uncomfortable with the notion that his players may do the same. Everyone should just go into that with their eyes wide open. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I understand that to a degree, but it, it's I guess it's the rights aspect of it that kind of bothers me internally and fundamentally, right? So, like, he comes into this game with these rights to do that because he oversees everything, but then he's able to say on a case-by-case -case basis whether that right for you deems worthy or not. I think the point, that, the the point, point that Greeny is making, or at least I, maybe I'm reading too much into it, is he is going to pay for this in recruiting. Like, yeah. this is going to be something that, that other teams who are recruiting against him are going to walk in there and say, this guy doesn't respect you the way that I respect you. I believe that if you come here, we're going to do everything right so you want to stay here, and if you want to leave, you can leave. Because a lot of people don't transfer, to be clear, and Laura, you can speak to this much more than I can. They don't transfer because it's a toxic environment. Right. Mm -hmm. They transfer because someone better than them yes. is yeah. Yeah. in front of yeah. them. Yeah. Right. That's 
how Joe, Bur Joe Burrow, the transfer portal made Joe Burrow $50 million, <laughs> yes, yes, however agreed. much money yeah, it is agreed. you made. Right. And, and Justin Fields, the three, three of the four yeah. quarterbacks in the playoff Jaylen this year Hurts. were all from the transfer portal. It's not because they came from toxic well, environments. It's because they had an opportunity to play somewhere else. It's their one chance to do it. And to the point of the recruiting side of this, you know, we haven't seen many coaches come out and try to make this type of statement. Randy Edsel is really one of the only others. He coaches at UConn who said, hey, we're not going to let guys go test out the transfer portal and come back. Most of these coaches and most of these conferences, in fact, the Big Ten has led the way on this, said, yeah, sure, we're in favor of this transfer portal. In fact, we're in favor of guys being granted eligibility even sooner, mm, DJ, yeah. than, than they were yeah. before. That, that's important. If, if you're going to sit somewhere for two or three years and you feel like you can uh, make it to the NFL or, yeah. or you make it to the NBA, I, I got to find somewhere where I can uh, showcase my talent. The and joke. I'm going to do it. You know why? Because Dominique said earlier, I want all oh, the money. <laughs> the Joe Burrow example is a perfect one because you're right. It's about opportunity. And the kids have – those players' opportunities reduce so much. Why would you want to take more opportunity away from guys? He oh. went from being undrafted to being the number one overall pick. Yeah, I was going to say, transfer if the transfer portal. portal wasn't open and you had to sit out, then if a coach takes a new job and still makes money, then he shouldn't be able to coach for a couple years too. Well, uh, like, let's make that, it even, that, even all the way around. Look, the, the, that's been a fight we've been having on the air forever. Yeah. We're obviously on yep. the same side. The with, transfer portal is a major step in the right direction I agree. for the yes. players. Now it, it is taken on a case-by-case -case basis. Coach says he's taking it on a case-by-case -case basis. He's well within his rights to do it. I understand. The players should do the same. We're so glad you're watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, make sure you subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. We'll see you there.